This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by GoToMeeting. Sprint's going LTE, Neil Young's going high resolution, and what is Nook Audio? It's time to round them up. It's Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup. Round them up! Woohoo! Hey, what is going on, everybody? And welcome to Rumor Roundup. It's Techno Buffalo on Revision 3. My name is Noah Kravitz, and I'm editor at large for Techno Buffalo. And this is your Rumor Roundup for the week ending today, Friday. April 6th, happy April everybody, 2012. Whatever that person did to prank you on April Fool's Day, they did it out of love. Unless it's somebody who doesn't like you, then you shouldn't be hanging around with them anyway. All right, first, Sprint is going LTE, and they may be going in a big way real soon. Sprint followers out there, and we know you're out there, especially because you followed Mark Hearn over here, didn't you? I know you did. I know that's how we roll. You may have two new LTE devices to choose from very, very soon. The Galaxy Nexus and the LG Fury. We don't know a whole lot about the Furies. It was just mentioned in some internal Sprint training documents that were leaked to the web earlier this week, but we do know that the documents instructed Sprint salespeople on how to enable LTE for their customers, so we can deduce from that that the LG Fury will be an LTE-equipped device also, the Galaxy Nexus. No stranger, that one's been out on Verizon for a while now, but it looks like an LTE-equipped Nexus will be hitting Sprint as soon as April 22nd. Sprint uh, finally ditching the WiMAX, going to LTE. We'll see if an, a move to LTE, and also we'll see how well their LTE performs, is enough to right their ship. When you think of digital music, and you think of musicians, you might think of people like Metallica, famous for that, you know, it was years ago now, but famous for that fray with Napster and Napster users. You might think of Prince, who made a big deal, painted the word slave on his face, talking about his contract with Warner Brothers. But do you think of Neil Young? Probably not, right? Well, you might be. Neil Young uh, talked earlier this year at the All Things D conference about how Digital downloaded music just isn't good enough. The quality just isn't good enough. And he's you know, sort of bemoaning the idea that uh, people, especially this new generation, are growing up on low quality digital downloaded files, MP3s and AACs and what have you, instead of the really high fidelity music that's being created in the studio. So from that talk at All Things D, people surmised that maybe Mr. Young was going to uh, give up rocking in the free world and get in and getting into rocking in the high resolution subscription or pay per play model digital downloaded world. I just made that up. I had to spit it out. Well, seems like Mr. Young has filed some trademarks that add a little bit of fuel to this rumor mill fire. Mr. Young filed no fewer than six trademark applications dating back to last June. So it, it all kind of rolls together to mean that Neil Young may be preparing to launch some sort of online music store dealing in high quality downloadable files and discs. Of course, it may also mean that Neil Young just filed a bunch of trademarks. Who knows? We'll be back in a moment with a little more audio news from an unlikely source, Barnes & Noble. But first, a word from our sponsor. With colleagues working from home or traveling for business, getting everyone together for a meeting can be an impossible task. But I have the solution. Go to meeting with HD Faces. Now your team can meet face to face while online, no matter where they are. It only takes seconds and it's so easy. Go to meeting by Citrix allows you to collaborate on files and plans online. And with HD Faces, you just need a webcam to turn your meeting into an HD video conference. You can even participate on the go using the built-in camera on your iPad. Just download the free Go to Meeting app to join. I've used Go to Meeting a bunch of times with different clients and turn and with the different partners we work with at Techno Buffalo. And it's great because you can take advantage of the fact that you have people you want to work with all over the country and all over the world, which is the whole point of working on the internet. But you can actually collaborate on stuff and even see them face to face and hear their voices, which is essential because at the end of the day, you're still working with people, right? GoToMeeting is great for those kinds of remote collaborative situations. Techno Buffalo viewers can try it free for 30 days. Just visit gotomeeting.com, that's G-O-T-O-M-E-E-T-I-N-G.com, and click Try It Free. You'll see the Try It Free button there to try GoToMeeting free for 30 days. All right, we're back. Last but not least this week, what is Nook Audio? Our own European editor, Killian Bell, reported earlier this week on a mysterious product called the Nook Audio OE250 that appeared momentarily on the Barnes & Noble website before being taken down. What is Nook Audio? What is the Nook Audio OE250? We're not really sure. The name would imply 
some sort of audio based accessory, audio oriented accessory for the Nook, or perhaps a new Nook focused on audio playback, an iPod competitor, something like that. I don't know, I thought the, uh, the age of iPods was over, but who knows, given Barnes & Noble's stake in book selling and audiobooks and that kind of thing, and their new foray into digital media, it might make sense for them to roll out some sort of very low cost audio only, audio book only, maybe even with streaming media from the cloud kind of hardware offering. Killian reports that The Verge dug a little bit deeper and uh, checked out the product code and had this to say. The Nook Audio OE250 has an eight digit code beginning with 23, similar to speaker products from companies like iHome that tend to have codes in the 22X to 23X range. Barnes & Noble has had nothing official to say about this, no press releases, no press events scheduled, anything like that, but we will keep our ear to the Nook and let you know, our ear to the Nook? We'll keep our ear to the ground. We'll keep listening to the Nook. I don't know. As soon as we hear anything, we'll let you know. In the meantime, you can go read Killian's report over on Techno Buffalo. All right, kids, that'll do it for this week's episode of The Roundup. Again, whatever happened to you on April Fool's, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, well, just don't hang out with those people anymore because they're mean to you. Thanks to GoToMeeting for sponsoring this week's episode. Thanks to Rev3 for having us. Thanks to you for watching. Roundup! Up. Till next week, my name's Noah Kravitz. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, so that means it's time for me to go. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.